Hello and welcome to Quick Learning Hub. Today we are going to discuss auto repair processing. So let's first try and understand what does auto repair functionality means. So in our context we are saying is a process that automatically attempts to repair failed messages without any human intervention. So let's see what is our process is doing and how we are going to make the process auto repair the failed messages. So in our process, what currently happening is without the repair functionality is let's say producer producing some events to topic and the main process is actually consuming from that topic. The main process is doing some validation based on some static data, which is already inserted before the processing or which is already present in the database. So now main process is taking that data or at least using that data to validate the incoming message. Now in our scenario, what we are saying is the particular incoming message that has been produced on the topic this main process validates but due to some wrong configuration of static data or that particular static data that is required for a successful validation is missing in our static data inside the database so what happens the main process is not able to successfully validate that message hence that message ends up in the failed message table in the database static data admin realizes that okay there is some wrong configuration that has been done now data admin updates the static data but now in our current functionality there is no way without human intervention that this failed messages will be auto processed again as soon as this static data is updated so this is where we are discussing the auto repair functionality what we are saying is Let's say this particular producer produced a message and the same scenario main process validating something it failed. So there are certain messages that ended up in failed messages table in the database with the auto repair functionality. What we are trying to achieve is that as soon as this static data admin updates the static data process should do it should try to reprocess those failed messages automatically without any human intervention or without a, a person taking those failed messages and republishing those failed messages that are related to those particular static data update to the main topic for reprocessing. So this is auto repair processing would be doing. Let's say we know that, okay, this particular messages are related to that particular static data. As soon as that static data is updated, this particular auto repair processing should be intelligent enough to identify which messages should be reprocessed based on which static data. So this is we are going to see how we can achieve this. Now let's zoom into our auto repair processing a bit how we are planning to achieve it. So the same focus area is from point number one to four is the same that message ended up in the database in the failed state. Now this particular static data admin as actor is updating the data. So it might be updating using some UI or some backend services generally they don't directly update in the database so we will try to be more practical in terms of let's say this particular static data admin has ui and it's updating and then it will call some api now what we are saying is as soon as this static data service updates the data in the database successfully we are going to publish a event or a record to static data update topic what particular static data is actually updated now we will have another service that will be auto repair service which will actually identify based on this static data update for this particular update do we have any associated failed record in the database so after consuming this particular static data update record from topic auto repair service will actually try and fetch those related records based on our defined configurations process will determine which failed record to consume from the database now what when let's say this auto repair process has identified that okay these are the failed record associated with this particular static data should pick up those record from the failed messages table and try to republish those messages to incoming topics so that those messages can now be reprocessed now if the particular data is updated properly and updated for the process validations configuration the main process should now be able to successfully validate it and processes further and the process should end up successfully processed so this is what auto repair process in our context is so let's try to understand it with a very simple use case i'll try to avoid 
business use case as much as possible because this process we can fit it in any situation where we have this kind of scenario where we have failed messages and then we want to reprocess it after certain dependent data is updated so let's keep it very simple so what we are saying is we have incoming message with only one field which is let's say in our simple example use case account id and we are saying that main consumer consumes this incoming message and try to see this account id if it is risky or not so for that we already have some static data being already in our system we are saying we have risk table where we have only two risk defined right now one is the green risk with score zero one is the red risk with score hundred as we are dealing in this account somebody has opened this account so we have static account data with us in let's say initially it is marked as a risky account now what we are saying is this particular static data initially let's say it's marked as red risk which is a risky account and in ma main process we are saying if the risk is greater than zero that's a risky account so how we are going to flag this particular thing so we have another static data table or which is like generally we do have it in constant files or everywhere the error codes so we have this particular error code table as well we are saying if the validation fails when the risk score is greater than zero we will mark the failed error as account error 01 which is the message is risky account but the important thing to notice is we have one more column in the error code table we are saying this particular error is associated with accounts if you see the next table the failed message table this particular message has ended up in the failed message table with the error code account error 01 so now how we are going to identify which message to reprocess you might have got the idea by now so from the error codes we have one message in the failed message table with why it failed so the error code and this error code is particularly associated with the which table or which entity so we are saying is account entity so let's say now static data admin updates the account entity we are going to publish that okay this update is for account entity so first we will get all the error codes associated for that static data update so for account update we are saying get all the error codes so in our current configuration we have only one error so we will get account error 01 and once we have this error code we will try and fetch all the failed messages associated with that error code so this particular process auto repair process now knows that okay this particular message that it is consuming is related to accounts we will fetch all the error code associated with that account entity once we have the error code we will get all the failed messages associated with that error code so you might have understood that the main consumer when it is actually publishing to the database during the failure case it must publish that record with the error why that particular record ended up in the database in the failed messages table at first place so that's how we are going to identify which all failed messages to reprocess based on the particular static data update for a particular static table so this is uh, not as perfect solution as we want to achieve in a real world scenario but this will solve the purpose for the demo of auto repair processing now i hope this makes sense till now here what we will do in the next video we'll try to implement this whole functionality so see you in the next video for auto repair functionality